There are a grand total of three Spinosaurids in the Jurassic franchise. Spinosaurus, Baryonyx, and Suchomimus. Now, Spinosaurids are by far one of my favorite family of dinosaurs. I mean, they're incredibly fascinating animals. A group that had adaptations that were suited for a piscivorous diet that is also made up of these massive theropod dinosaurs, it's just incredibly fascinating. And just keeping up with them is also extremely fun, you know, because we don't know a lot about them. And so when we make new fossil discoveries, it, it seems that things just change quite frequently. Like take Irritator, for example, we found out very recently that it seems likely it had a type of pelican pouch on its lower jaw. That's awesome. And don't even get me started about Spinosaurus and how much that has changed over the years. It's just, it's really fun to keep up with. And so because I love this family of dinosaurs so much, I want to take a look at its appearances in the Jurassic franchise and just kind of talk about their designs and my overall thoughts about those designs. Kind of like a very miniature, many interpretations of, or something like that. I don't know. I just, I felt like talking about Spinosaurus today. So we'll go ahead and start off with the most popular one and also my favorite dinosaur, Spinosaurus. It makes its grand debut in Jurassic Park 3 all the way back in 2001 and this is where Spinosaurus essentially became a household name where it really kind of set the standard for the animal after it demolished a Tyrannosaurus Rex in Mortal Kombat. This is where I learned about Spinosaurus. I was five at the time and after I saw it beat a T-Rex who was previously my favorite dinosaur it immediately became my favorite dinosaur. It's now my favorite because I still think it's incredibly fascinating, but you know, when I was a child, I was very easy to persuade. Of course, nowadays, Spinosaurus is incredibly different to how it was portrayed in that movie. Uh, instead of being something that looks a lot like this, it is now something that looks a lot more like this. You know, quite a contrast, all things considered. But believe it or not, the Jurassic Park 3 appearance of this animal is very accurate for the time. Because you see, Spinosaurus was known from very fragmentary remains that were also destroyed in World War II. A bombing run destroyed the museum in which the fossils were present and the fossils were destroyed along with it. So not a lot was known about Spinosaurus and so because of that a lot of the gaps that we had needed to be filled in by a lot of other Spinosaurids that were far more complete such as Suchomimus or Baryonyx. And so because of that what was portrayed in Jurassic Park 3 is essentially a Baryonyx with a sail on its back. But again that is very accurate for the time. And I still do love it, its design here. I do think it's possible to love the fictional animal as well as loving the real life animal at the same time. I think it looks incredibly awesome here. The quality of the CGI is amazing. The animatronic is amazing and is absolutely massive. So much so that it destroyed the Tyrannosaurus animatronic that it was meant to fight. Like it actually broke it when, when they were filming the scene. So in real life, in our real world, Spinosaurus did in fact defeat T-Rex. And I really like the colors and the sound design. The sounds that this animal makes are just so just engraved into my brain and they're just, they're incredible. You know, everything about it is just really good, very nicely done, a great start to the list. It of course then appears in Camp Cretaceous and as far as I know, this has been confirmed to be the same Spinosaurus that showed up in Jurassic Park 3, just transported over to Manacore Island. Now the colors have been tweaked a little bit, it has more of a brownish color, and the model is of course different, but it is in that stylized animation. But the thing that bums me out the most is the fact that the, the, the sounds are different. I believe the reason for that is because the original sound files for Spinosaurus in uh, Jurassic Park 3 have since been lost, so we couldn't they couldn't use it for uh, Camp Cretaceous. I, I, I think that's what happened. That's what I've heard. If I'm wrong, you know, be sure to correct me. But I am glad to see it again here. We had been waiting such a long time to see its grand debut or grand return in the Jurassic franchise. And so seeing it again was a nice surprise. Also, I never thought I'd live in a timeline where a Spinosaurus ate a Smilodon. In a desert, too. That, that's just crazy. But the second Spinosaurid to make its appearance in the Jurassic franchise is, of course, Barry Onyx. Appeared in Fallen Kingdom and, of course, made its appearance in a few other different things. I am not a fan of this one. And I've, I've said that a few times. You know, I'm sure that many of you are kind of tired of that statement by now. But I'm just not a fan of it. And it's not necessarily because it's inaccurate. It's just... I just don't like it. It's just a design that I don't really like. I'm not a fan of kind of just throwing osteoderms on every single theropod dinosaur to try to make it look cooler. And in, in terms of the baryonyx, I don't like how wide its skull is. I, I much prefer the type of thinner skull that really makes it look like, you know, just gives it that spinosaurid 
look. I'm also not really a big fan of the colors, and I know this because in Jurassic World Evolution, once I give it different colors, I'm, I gravitate towards it a little bit more. Now, this is also where I mentioned that the Baryonyx did first make its appearance on the Jurassic World website, and it had this design right here. I really like this one. I think that this design looks fantastic, and I wish it was a design that we were able to stick with. The yellow coloration mixed in with some light blues here and there and the creative liberties taken with like the quills and everything and the massive claw it all looks really good and that's another thing baryonyx stands for heavy claw that's what its name means um and the reason why it was given that name is because one of its digits on its hands on both of its hands actually one of its digits on both of its hands had a massive claw that was likely some type of fish hook. That's not nearly as pronounced as it should be on the the official movie design. Now, it is a lot more pronounced on the website design, which is another reason why I gravitate towards it. I just think that it's really strange that you have something like a giant claw that isn't present on the design, because sometimes features like that are exaggerated with designs like this, and it's just, it's very strange to me that it wasn't exaggerated in, uh, you know, in Fallen Kingdom. But even still, the quality of the CGI is still very good, as per usual, and, you know, I, I'm sure that, the, I know that this design does have its fans out there. Usually, whenever I mention I don't like it, I do have people with, that bring in some pushback, and that's completely fine. This is just my opinion on it. Um, not really a big fan of it. And then finally, we have the Sukumimus, who officially made its debut in canon in Chaos Theory. Love its design here. I think that it has the a great spinosaurid shape. You can see a little bit of the tall neural spines because as I've mentioned before in previous videos, uh, Sukumimus did in fact have tall neural spines. They were not as tall as the ones present on Spinosaurus, but they were present there. They would make something that looked a little bit more like a hump, and you, you know, you could see that on uh, the Sukumimus design here. The colors are probably my least favorite thing about it, and also the teeth that go out to the side on the lower jaw. I didn't really notice that when I first viewed uh, Chaos Theory, but now that we've gotten some uh, promotional footage for season two. I can definitely see it there and I'm not a big fan of that But everything else I think looks fantastic and I can't wait to see this animal more in the future going up against some stegosauruses It appears that's awesome same as baryonyx though There was a website design for the Sukumimus and it looked like this also looks incredible love the colors I love the whole shape of it I think it looks pretty much exactly like a Sukumimus, which you know, it's not essential to be accurate like that but you do get some extra points in my book when you do take that time to add some uh, accuracy to your designs. You know, that's just something I appreciate. Not essential, but it's, just, it's something that I appreciate. And that design was carried over into Jurassic World Evolution, and everything still applies. Everything looks fantastic, and I could not be happier with the quality of designs of the uh, Sukumimus in the Jurassic franchise. So, for the most part, I think that Spinosaurids in the Jurassic franchise have been a hit. Um, I think it would be really cool to see more Spinosaurids in the future, like maybe maybe Irritator. You know, this figure looks kind of cool. That may that, that might be interesting to see. Or maybe something like Ichthyovenator or maybe Oshalaia, you know, a very, very obscure Spinosaurid that might be another species of Spinosaurus. Who knows? Who knows? But for the most part, I do really like these designs and I do hope that we see more of this family of dinosaurs in the future. You know, I think that it's certainly a unique type of theropod dinosaur to have in your franchise and stands out in that sort of way. So it certainly makes sense. Anyway, this was just a quick little video that I wanted to make. Uh, be sure to tell me your thoughts on the Spinosaurids that have made their appearance in the Jurassic franchise. Do you love them or do you hate them? Be sure to let me know. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have for this one. Please consider liking commenting and subscribing something like that really does help we're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers where i can then do another special another many interpretations of special which will either be velociraptor or triceratops because those two have been incredibly like very much requested like they've been requested a lot i don't know what i'm saying and those are definitely hefty videos there's a lot of interpretations of those dinosaurs so you know that's definitely perfect for another special video so i certainly do look forward to that whenever we get to get to that point anyway thank you guys so much for watching and have an awesome day